Today, we will show you how you create a customer bug request from the portal and then use automation to create and link development tasks to the corresponding Jira software project. Stay tuned for the full tutorial. Welcome to Ellie Solutions for a Jira automation tutorial. My name is Courtney and in this tutorial, we will show you how you create a customer bug request from the portal and then use automation to create and link development tasks to the corresponding Jira software project. For this use case, the customer will create a request from the Jira service management portal. Based on the customer request type and component selected, Jira automation will create a new ticket to the corresponding team that will resolve the ticket. As you can see, the request type is bug and the component is website. Jira Automation will create a new development task in the web development's Jira project since the component was set to website. It will also link it to the original customer request. In the second use case, the request type is bug and the component is plugins. This will create and link a new development task for the plugins development's Jira project. Let's begin. From the Jira Service Management Project queues, go to the Project Settings. Select the Automation Settings. Since this rule touches various projects, we need to create it as a global rule. Click on Global Administration. We are now in the Global Automation section. Click on Create Rule. Every rule starts with a trigger. Select the issue created trigger and save it. Add a new condition. Select issue fields condition. In the field options, select project. Under the Conditions field, select Equals. In the Value field, select the Jira Service Desk project. Save the condition. Let's add a new condition. Select the If or Else block condition. Add a new condition. Select Issue Fields Condition. In the Field drop-down, select Request Type. For the Condition field, leave it as Equals. In the Value field, select Report a Bug, which is the Customer Request Type to create a bug ticket from the portal. Add a new condition. Select Issue Fields Condition. In the field drop-down, select Components. For the Condition field, select Equals in any order. In the Value field, select Website. Save the condition. We will add two new actions, the first one to create a new task to the corresponding project, and the second one to link it to the original request. Select a new action. Select Create Issue. Under Project, select Marvel Project, which represents the web development's Jira software project. Under Issue Type, we will select Task. For the summary, we will copy the data from the current issue. We will do the same for the Description field. Feel free to add any other values you require. For the purpose of this demo, we will keep it simple. Save the action. Now let's create a new link from the service desk issue to the newly created issue. Create a new action. Select link issues. You can select any of the available link types, but we will choose the relates to link type to keep it simple. Then select the next drop down to be most recently created issue. Save the action. 
Go to the else block and click on it. Add a condition. Select the issue fields condition and we will ensure that it applies to only bug requests. We will now add a new condition to ensure that the components apply to the plugins. In the field drop-down select components. For the condition, select the contains any of option. In the values field, Select the various plugins components. Save the condition. Create a new action. Select Create Issue. Under Project, select Project XYZ, which represents the plugin's development's Jira software project. Everything else will remain the same as our previous actions. Let's now create the link action and we will keep the same settings as before. Save the action. Before we publish the rule, we need to ensure that we apply this rule to the corresponding projects. Go to the rule details. Under scope, select multiple projects. Now, let's select the Jira Service Management Project and the two development team Jira Software Projects. Name the rule and click on Save. Publish the rule. As you can see, we have the global rule created which will only apply to the projects that we selected. Let's now test the rule. We will go to the service desk portal and create a new bug report. Ensure that you select the component website to trigger the creation of the link task to the web development team. Submit the request. Let's now go to the ticket. From the service desk open the newly created ticket. You can see that the request type is report a bug and the component is website. You can also see that a link exists to a ticket. Open the link ticket. As you can see, the task was created in the corresponding web developments project called Project Marvel. Now, let's go back to the portal. Let's create a new ticket, but this time, we will select the simple user management component, which is a plugin. Submit the request. Let's go and check the ticket. As you can see, the request type is report a bug and the component is simple user management. When we click on the link ticket, the task was created in the plugins developments project which is called Project XYZ. Both conditions are working as expected. And that's how you create a customer bug request from the portal, and then use automation to create and link development tasks to the corresponding Jira software project. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you would like to be notified of new Jira tutorials.